And uh, some fine football also from uh, Paul Smith, who I thought has been busy for them. And, of course, uh, Ashley Davey for the Crows side. Good quarter of footy. Margin, only the one point. So, really, the first quarter, credit to both clubs. They've really worked hard at trying to uh, uh, get the ball moving quickly. And in those conditions, uh, they've done so admirably. And, uh, as I said, one point the margin. Crows favour it at, uh, at quarter time. We're just about ready to start the second quarter here. And that's proudly brought to us by the GDFL Bingo set up Breakwater Road. Breakwater. Correct, Ronnie. Start of the second quarter as the rain tumbles down again here at Richmond Crescent. For the start of the second quarter, Reuter and at Bowden. Bowden has to sit and wait, and he gets the tap on this occasion. Mostert's there on hands and knees, threw it out. O'Leary trapped it, got tackled as he tried to kick. Handball out further towards Bigham. Kick off the ground was good there from Matty Hobbs. Up towards half forward, Radford. And also Ian Cockrell. Radford keeps it in front of him. That tries to get rid of Cockrell. Picks it up. Handball back over his head. Nobody there in support though. O'Leary sits and waits. Pack develops. Is out towards the boundary line now. And the boundary umpire will have a bit of work to do. And it's coming on a 45 degree angle. Again, the uh, rain. So pretty tough conditions here for both sides. Yeah, it certainly is, Jason. But as I mentioned in my estimation of that quarter time break, both sides really working the football well with hand and foot passing to the target and uh, no exception there with Andy Reuter on that out of side set of wing uh, under a bit of pressure but was good enough to tap it out towards his teammate there in Matty Hobbs he couldn't control it and that's out of bounds now on that out of side set of wing and uh, we'll see a fair bit of the football I'd suggest on that out of side or city side of the crescent because that's where the wind is taking the football Mickey O'Leary now breaks through to that centre wing position, kicks off the carpet. A little bit of scrappy footy, some good pressure there from the defence of the Devils. Sees now a quick hand pass there from young Cockrell. Can't find the target. Murray comes out. Likewise there, Cockrell back in and a good tackle there from uh, the suburbs of McGough. Squeezes the ball back towards the boundary line and will have another throw in. In between half forward and centre wing. Out of sight of the ground, suburbs into attack. Throw in now, Reuter and... Bowden, no Ruckman gets an effective tap, Ruck at the back of the pack there gets it, handball to O'Toole, that's Mick, right foot kick up in the air, no 10, have the play on there, Radford came through, couldn't take the mark, Bowden was also there, got hands to it, got it towards Dave Nichols, balks a couple there and pushes it out wide, then it's back in towards Aitken, and players, pretty scrappy footy as you'd expect, O'Leary, handball good to Reuter, then he sits and waits and kicks underneath towards Radford, who can get a kick away now towards centre half forward, Peters has to go across, but McNamara sat there, and took the mark. The leader of the band runs away from half back. Yeah, lovely footy too from McNamara. Long kick up to half forward. No one can take the greasy footy. Big fella, Aitken, the big ruckman for the Devils, handled it like it was if it was a dry day. Handballs over the top, but slipping at the crucial time was the Baker boy. Up he gets. Left foot kick, a beauty! And hits Marco Tool on the chest. Plays on. Oh! Too quick for mine, but it's come off. Ashley Davies played on. Oh, foolishly, but Paul Smith runs into an open goal. Gordon Collins, I think you'll find, won't be very happy with himself. Couldn't get a fist to the footy. He was the meat in the sandwich and has allowed an easy goal through for Correa. Yep, they went pretty well there. It's a short kick from O'Toole over the top to Davies. Then he played on. Looked like foolishly, but then he got it to Smith OK. And Collins couldn't get his hand to it. And Correa kicked the first goal this second quarter, 3-5, 23, they lead Eastern Suburbs, 2 4 16, GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter score, we've been going three minutes in this second quarter GDFL, match of the day, round 14 here at a very wet Richmond Crescent. Certainly, but the confines of the Country FM guest video repertoire here, set up by our technician director Brett Revere, is absolutely superb. Goes towards Mostert in the ruck contest there. No, neither ruckman can get an effective tap. Kicked off the ground short by ruck. Kicked by Hobbs towards centre-half forward. Radford comes at it and traps it. Runs through, though, and gets tackled. Cryer got the numbers. Bowden's one of them. Goes back towards half forward on the outer side. Davey. He's got Wembridge and Hobbs against him. Wembridge can't pick it up, though. And now he can at the second attempt. Then he drops it. Now he's on top of it. He's working hard, as is Matty Hobbs. The umpire will come in at half forward for Cryer and bounce the ball. And we're going to see a lot of that play now with the rain coming. Just reflecting back to those Carayo players there in that uh, exchange, uh, Baker to, to O'Toole. They play on at all costs, don't they? And it's just sometimes a bit unnerving. Yes, it certainly is. But caught the uh, opponents unawares, didn't it? It certainly did. And this, those wet conditions will be uh, they'll be working over time. Goes towards Bowden from that <coughs> contest. 
Davey now. Gets a kick away. It's a good kick too. O'Toole one out. Oh, used the body well against Rundle there. Just strength and took a good mark on hands and knees. Got his right hand to it while getting Rundle off his left side and took a good mark. He's going to be kicking from about 35 out. So it'll be a fair kick from there. He's kicked two goals already this afternoon. His last kick was a poor one at the other end of the ground in the late stage of the first quarter. He'll be kicking for Carayo's fourth and his third goal. And Rundle standing the mark about 35 out directly in front. Now, there's, it's all set as if he's going to shoot for a goal, but what's the bet? There's a lead. There's one. He's going to go for goal. Sharky's a full forward. They don't give him away. Well, he's given three away already. It's uh, sometimes I'm a bit critical of. He tends to get his players into a worse position. He's hooked that a slightly across, and uh, Peter Lang's got to be paid a great mark here last night of the fence. And umpire Steve Allenson acknowledges my sentiments and gives Peter Lang the footy. Comes to the grandstand side, member side looking for Smith and Nichols go up. Good roving Luke Thompson at the front of the pack. Left foot kick around the corner towards Peters. Tries to get rid of Keating. Oh, then little, does a little fancy work. Gets a trip, no free kick. Couldn't get the ball to anybody in particular. Smith on hands and knees just gave it to McGough. Then Reuter comes in high on Keating, no free kick. Reuter's in the middle, Mick O'Toole works very hard there. Kicks around the corner on his left boot. Back there, good mark. Brent Loughton at a second attempt against Aitken. Yeah, nice footy. Mr Cool, the Iceman, I'll call him. Elects to go to the other side of the ground. He's got a couple of players there. The radar's run down from half back. Takes the footy. Plays odd quickly. The kick now makes Peter Lang have to stretch those hamstrings. Could have been pushed by his opponent there in giving chase. It was Danny Ruck, I think you'll find. And, uh, yep, young Danny Ruck's in fringe. Peter Lang gets the free kick. He goes long towards centre-half forward. Murray standing. Couldn't take the mark in front there. Looked like Grozdanowski. Pack develops at half forward. Cockrell up front now. Gets a kick away. Right foot back towards the wing. Standing and waiting. Phil Ball, he takes the mark. Well, it was a pleasant su su surprise to see Philip Lang, or I should say Philip Ball, taking over head grab. Hasn't had much of the footy so far. This time he's kicked down a half foot. The Baker boy does well. Paul Baker kicks off the carpet, puts a bit of pressure down on the, the radar. He uh, elects to uh, yeah, give it away in the end, which uh, was surprising footy, because I thought he would have been able to burn off uh, Mark O'Toole on that occasion. Well, that's where he is going to be able to beat O'Toole if he runs off him this afternoon. Pirello, short little kick into McGough, who sits and waits and takes it. So, 3-6-24, Carayo, 2-4-16, Eastern Suburbs. Kick out wide towards Loughton at half back from McGough, and he takes the mark. It's on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. Loughton goes long to the wing, Reuter, and getting back there. Couldn't take the mark. Mostert overhead. Smith against him. Mostert, though, does well. The Mozzie gives it to Charles and puts him under pressure. Reuter tries to kick it away. O'Leary's there also. The umpire will have to come in and bounce the ball just on the attacking side of wing for Carayo. Rain still tumbling down here. Sun is shining. And uh, one would call that a sun shower, Jason. Is that they would. Well done. Good work, Ron. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good raving there. That was from McGough from Reuters tap in the ruck. Goes wide towards the half four position. Grozdanowski tries to punch it and keep it in. He can't do so though. And the boundary umpire will have a bit of work to do. Half four for Eastern Suburbs. He'll kicking to the city end of Richmond Crescent. They trail 2 4 16. Cry 3 6 24. Yes, and the time check shows we've been going six minutes of the second quarter. And it's been the second time that the uh, uh, Suburbs have got it up to half four. Struggling a little bit at the present time. Radford gets the hand pass from McGough. His left foot kick, a good one. Murray in front, couldn't take it. Charles, though, rises to the occasion. Put his teammate under all sorts of pressure. Great tackle, Craig McGough, and he'll get the free kick at half forward for the suburbs. Yeah, good tackle, McGough, there. Worked hard against McNamara, and we'll have the kick. Too far out to score, you'd think, at 50. Kicking into the bit of a breeze here. Just coming from... The left forward pocket at the city end, so he'll be kicking sort of into it. He's looking for a lead. There was one on from Lang against two players, though, so he goes long now. Murray against Keating, getting back there. No mark paid. Play on the call. Oh, it falls towards the front of the pack. Quick kick there from Lavery, but the numbers are with Carrillo. Keating pushed it towards the boundary line and Ruck. They keep pushing it out, and they've pushed it out about 35 out now. It's going to be out of bounds, and they've pushed it about 40 metres out. Good work there from the Devils' defence. Yeah, good. that was a little bit different than the Alan Rundle situation. Uh, I'm not being critical of Alan at all, but they really worked hard and showed a lot more desperation on that occasion, and getting the ball out of the attacking area, well done, Corrado defence. Grosinovsky taps it to the front, O'Toole. That's Mick. He gets wrapped up. Can't get the ball away. 
It's in there at close quarters. The Devils have still got the numbers, though. Comes towards Cockrell. He keeps it in front of him. He's met by Smith and Nichols. Smith didn't keep his feet, and then Nichols fell over as well. They both saw it out of bounds, so another boundary throw in. About 50 out from the cryo goal. Alan Ro uh, Andy Reuter, the ruckman, just playing a kick behind. It was a good kick and a half at the moment, standing on centre wing unattended. So Corolla have an extra player on the ball as Lavery comes off the ground for the Suburbs and Daryl Rowbottom on. Just to try and put a bit of free kick fan for a push there against Alan Monica, close to the boundary line. So he goes towards goal. There was three there against Peter Lang. And Darren McNamara tempted through for a rush behind for the Eagles. So they go to 2 5 17 Eastern Suburbs, 3 6 24 Carollo. Seven points of difference, GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Kicked in by Ruck, has gone to half back and he's found Bigham. He waits and gives it to McNamara, who came from a long way in the back pocket. Plays on there quickly, left foot is good to Mostert on the wing. He takes the mark in front of Radford, plays on. Oh, pressure there. Reuter on hands and knees can give it away. Leary, who can give it to Peters, running through. It was a throw, though, the umpire's called. It wasn't the mud there, and Andy Reuter's Ted Witten flick pass didn't come off. Umpire Armstrong said it was a throw, and Mick O'Toole will take the free kick in the centre for the Devils. Yeah, a bit of a let-off for the Devils there. After a very piece of poor footing, actually Davey tries to take a dry mark, but uh, over his head, can't do so, but butters up well. He's quick kicker. I think mean, a very short one, screws off the side of the boot and uh, falls into the arms of Philip Boyle, who uh, is a very accomplished footballer on his day and can be a match winner. He can. He's been a regular goal kicker this season for the Devils. He comes in now with his left knee heavily strapped. He goes in with the right boot and has pushed it to the far side. In fact, it's not through and it's been marked on the line by Mark O'Toole. Yes. So, Ruggle in front. <laughs> And Reuter behind, and O'Toole in the middle, and took the mark. You thought it was a through for a point, and so did Reuter. So did Reuter, mm. and all the eastern suburb defenders, but not the Shark. Now, he's on his non check side. side. The left foot check side kick, oh, I tell you what. he's done very well. He's Great done goal. very well. <laughs> cool as you like. <laughs> You'd expect him to do it, though. He's a bit charismatic like that. Just likes the check side kicks from the boundary line for a goal. Effervescent, I'd call it. 4 6 30, Corio, Eastern Suburbs 2 5 17. Ron Brain, unfortunately, is right at this moment. 13 points of difference. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter score will be going 11 minutes in this second quarter. And the Devils just handling conditions a little bit better, and I tend to think it's because the Suburbs half forward line is breaking down. Needless to say, Road Bottom has been brought on to centre half forward. They're just running the ball a little bit better. Their teamwork is functioning a lot better as well at the present time. The Devils, that's why they're enjoying a 13-point advantage. Reuter, big thump. Row bottom comes from centre half forward. On hands and knees. Reuter, second kick there, gets it away. Out towards a vacant half ball position. Keating gets back there first. Murray on his hammer. Murray, good, does very well, the big man there. Bottles it up. Peters, just towards the boundary line to give him a bit of time and his teammates to get down there and work hard at half forward. And it's a boundary throw in now. Well, Devils... The desperate devils, I'll call them, uh, against the uh, well, the eccentric, eccentric eagles. Eccentric eagles at the present time, but uh, yeah, Lang has just faded out of the game a little. Ball's now been kicked out of defence, but it's gone straight to the arms of Matty Hobbs, who has been a little quiet so far in proceedings here this afternoon, uh, and we know he can play the game. Just chipped it over the cop, top, and uh, Daryl Rowbottom gets his first possession here this afternoon coming up at the 11 and a half minute mark of the second quarter having just come onto the ground. And O'Toole as his third opponent. Wembridge is now on Mark O'Toole at full back. Short little kick by Rowbottom. It's been chopped off by Davey who plays on quickly at centre half back and kicks long towards the centre of the ground. Bowden against three. Oh good good mark there. Gordon Collins running back at the flight of the ball. Gives a handball to Reuter. He goes up to Peter. Oh, oh, he said he was going to That's do it. That's the mark of the year. He said he was going to do it this afternoon just for you, Ronnie, and he's done it. Great mark at centre half forward. Shorty Peters goes long now towards Grobstadovsky against Shelley. Shelley does well to push it away. Pack develops now at full forward. Getting away. Good handball. Aitken to Mikko Tool at the front of the pack. He's wrapped up. Still a pack there. McGough works very hard. Gets around on his right boot. Gets one late too and should get a free kick. He has down the field. It's going to go to Michael O'Leary. Yes, sir. Uh, Good work there, Craig McGough. Let's hope he hasn't hurt himself. Uh, he has got a bad knee, yeah, so... he has. And, uh, yeah, the eggshell hit him rather strongly. It was quite fair, but just a little late. 
And uh, looks like Alfie Dunham Monica having a spell, and uh, young Johnny Matthews on the ground for the suburbs. As the free kick has now been awarded down the ground, and it's in the right forward pocket. The ball's been taken by Peter Lang, who is uh, kicking now for goal, only about 25 metres out. 45 degree kick. angle, and I think you'll find he's popped it right through the high dead a little. Peter Lang now kicks his second. I also think he wasn't the closest man to the ball when that free kick was paid. Michael O'Leary is there, but they've got away with it. Peter Lang's second goal. And Eastern Suburbs draw a little bit closer. 3-5, 23, they trail cry. 4-6, 30 by seven points on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard we've been going 14 minutes in this second term. And Shorty Peters has done it again every time we do Eastern Suburbs. He takes one of those marks just for you, Ronnie. Yeah, he certainly does. That, uh, yeah, great effort, uh, Shorty. And, uh, actually, he's played a fair game as, as well here. He's attacking the ball with confidence, handling it pretty cleanly. And uh, a couple of these marks uh, has been no exception here this afternoon. And uh, a fine performance uh, in lighting the fire for the Eagles. Even the bench of Mickey Thompson and co have got a little bit more fire in the belly. They probably needed a bit after that first quarter. They probably had most of the play but couldn't capitalise. And Karai just got away in the first few minutes of this quarter. As we said, O'Toole has his third opponent at fullback, Shane Wembridge, now after Rundle and Perello had the job before. Back to the centre now. Aiken back in the ruck for Karai against Reuter. And about to start proceedings again in this second quarter. Thrown up. Aitken gets a tap down on this occasion. Hobbs there on hands and knees for Eason Soves. He's over the top, can't get the ball away. Handball over his head. That was from Bowden. Falls towards centre half forward. Phil Ball runs through without the ball. Radford picks up. Good pick up too. Gives it a rundle. Oh, just tackled as he got his kick away there by Baker. Out towards row bottom. Two against one. Mostert. Shepherds for Bigham. Handball is very poor towards McNamara. That was Matthew. Pack develops on the wing. The umpire lets it go. Comes out towards Bigham again. Gets away. Then drops the ball. Falls towards the front of the pack. Still there now, the umpire still lets it go. Comes out towards Johnny Matthews just on the ground. Little kick. Oh, McNamara, the fresh air shot, can't get it. O'Toole, Mick, great pick up. And gets away on his right boot. Pushes it towards the leader, Bowden, Loutner behind. Slipped over there. He comes out towards Paul Smith, who's got away from Collins. Tried to pick it up one hand, then slipped over. It's wet weather football at its best here. He's wrapped up. The umpire says, it's mine. And Ron Brown, there is no way that was a push in the back. It's going to be a ball up at half forward for Carayo. OK, ball there, half forward. Devils into attack. An opportunity there for Paul Smith. Went begging for the Devils. Now he's got an opportunity here. Just sharks it off the ruck contest. The little kick around the corner, fourth for Peter Lang. His hand passed to O'Leary. OK. And Mickey Boyd goes bang straight up the corridor. But there's nobody home for the suburbs as uh, Darren McNamara, the leader of the band, takes the footy and set a half back for the Devils. McNamara goes towards Aitken, sits and waits, takes a chest mark in front of Luke Thompson, just inside the centre square on the outer side wing. He hasn't got a lot on offer now, so he goes towards Davey. Loughton in the front, can't take it. Wembridge does well in front of O'Toole, kicks to nobody in particular. Danny Ruck and Rowbottom at it. Rowbottom does very well. Let's Hobbs in. He kicks off the ground, though, to nobody. Goes out there on the wing, pack develops, good tackle. Coming through the middle. Good Mozzie. play, Mozzie. The Mostert goes towards Davey, who's in front of Rundle there. Goes long now. Smith and getting back there. Nichols. Nichols, good play, though. To chop it off was by Gordon Collins. Play Collins ball. now close towards the boundary line. Just trickles it over towards the boundary line. Smith will see it over. No, he doesn't. Boyle in back to forward towards Nichols. But Wembridge, oh, he had a chance. Then slipped over. Handball to Collins. He's wrapped up. Now he just goes to the safety of the boundary line and finds it. I tell you what, that young kid, Collins, he's, he's made a couple of blues, but, gee, he's a lovely attitude to the ball. He never stops going. And, yeah, very strong at it. And, uh, he's done quite well for the suburbs in this quarter. As we see now, Radford couldn't handle the footy cleanly. Back in he goes. Good skills, this boy. Kicks under pressure on the right foot. Wobbles out to where Rundle, oh, and the clash of arms and legs there. It looks like that's Aiken, is it, the big mm -hmm. ruckman? As Davey goes in hard at the footy. Whistle on play, and I think you'll find that uh, oh. by Steve Ellis will bounce down. O'Toole, Mark O'Toole running off which doesn't look like a very good arm there his right arm is holding it so that's not good news, Reuter gets a tap out towards Mick O'Toole who's wrapped up, now he gets it again handball with free kick, advantage paid Nichols now on half forward, close to the boundary line, good kick, one out, Loughton getting back there with Bowden, good kick, it's through for a goal great goal Dave Nichols <laughs> from a long way out there on the boundary line, there was nobody back in the goal square for either side and a bounce through for a goal 
Yes, sensational football here at Richmond Crescent, the home of the Mighty Eagles this afternoon. But at the moment, the Devils are dictating. They've moved to five goals, six, 36 points. The Cryo Devils, they lead Eastern Suburbs, 3-5-23. GDFL Bigo Centre, Felmungers Road, Breakwater, bringing you the action on Country FM at Kiss Video for the GDFL Footy League in 96. Hope you enjoyed the kick-by-kick description live from Richmond Crescent here this afternoon. Back in the centre now, Bowden has to sit and wait. Royder, great tap to McGough again. Good pick-up too by McGough. Left foot kick up towards Peters who comes out. And Murray, oh, they left it for each other. Murray probably should have left it for Peters. Kick off the ground by Radford. Has it been touched? It's going to go close to the goal line. Then it goes away towards Shelley and the behind post. It's still kept in. Keating now will see it through for a rush behind to Eastern Suburbs. 12 points the margin. So there, they move on to 3-6-24. Eastern Suburbs, Cryo 5-6-36. GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard been going 19 minutes in this second quarter. Kick in by Rux, a good one too towards Bowden and Reuter at centre-half back. Mostert's in there now. Hobbs keeps his feet. He's got it, and he's got O'Leary in support. Little kick by Hobbs towards Rowbottom and Lang, but he picked out Bigham instead. He takes the mark at half back for Cryo. The lead's on from Davey in front of Rundle. He can't pick it up, though, on the half volley, and it's going to be out of bounds on the full from Davey. Actually, it hit his foot. Alan Rundle takes the free kick. Chips over the top. Good footy. Umpire's called play on there from Mickey O'Leary. Mick tried to bluff his way out of that half volley, but unfortunately, Mick, the umpire, said that uh, it's hit the ground first. And now we're going to have a boundary throw in. The boundary umpire and the central umpire did abs- have, no, ab- have absolutely no idea what was happening there. <laughs> well, the, umpire, the boundary umpire's got it now. Throws it back into play. Now, good work there. That was Peter Lang. Got it out. And, uh, both sides have done it well today. That's why the umpires have put their whistles away because they're getting the ball out quickly and moving it on when they can. Screw around the corner from the suburbs. I think you'll find it could have been... Uh, just trying to pick him up there for the suburbs. Oh, Murray, I think it was. Murray it was, yep. but a great mark there from McNamara, the leader of the band. That was Darren. Goes to centre wing. Pippa, the Mick O'Toole, goes up there looking for Boyle. Now the race is on. Oh, the Baker boy picks it up nicely for the Devils. The vice captain goes in border. Looks up the ground. Now Philip Boyle, can he kick the goal? Oh, oh hit the post. He did very well there. Great pick up. And David Hayes is on the ground also for Carrillo at full forward for the injured Marco Tool. So he's got a big job at full forward this afternoon. Wembridge to kick in for Eastern Suburbs. Comes to the grandstand side looking for Loughton. Good pick up on the half volley. Gets his kick away. He's tackled. Goes towards Dylan Smith who's wrapped up by Nichols. Nichols does very well there in front of the commentary box. And it's going to be a boundary throw in. Cryo 5 7 37. Lead Eastern Suburbs 3 6 24 13 points of difference. Judy FL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard. And the umpire, boundary umpire to throw it in. Royder now does battle. This time Bowden back of the pack. Comes down the front there with the Ruckman. Aikman having run the ball also for the Devils. Does well. Kicks it quickly down a half forward. Finds the boundary line. Around about 45 metres from the Devils goal. And uh, Mickey O'Toole just back here at centre wing. Hands on hips. Just having a bit of a break from uh, a bit of hard work. He's done in the second quarter. Boundary throw in now. Bowden and Royder. Royder the front position. Gets his big... Right fist to it, but only falls to Aitken again, who kicks for goal, and it's a great kick up. It's a free kick for a push, is it? Yes, it is. Wembridge against Hayes there, and no goal. It's a great kick from Aitken, but it's going to be a free kick to Wembridge in the last line of defence for the Eagles. It's what you call a flat punt, and he did it very nicely too, the uh, young Danny Aitken, who's been quite busy also for the Devils in this second quarter. Wembridge's kick, though, put school Collins under a bit of pressure, but he was good enough to rise to the occasion. And an opportunity now for Dylan Smith at centre wing in front. Knocked away, though, from him by young Nichols. Uh, Charles, it is, traps it at centre wing, screws it back to centre half forward, looking for Davey. Ricochets back to where Charles slips the crucial tie. Back of players have formed an umpire. Allenson will call a bounce down. Is this inside the centre square? Yes, it is. For the Devils, who are just into attack. <laughs> Bound to sit. Gets another tap to make him on this. Hey. We'll have to come in and order again. To about five metres away from the last bounce. 21 minute mark of the second quarter. 37 plays, 23. Cryo in front. Reuter gets the tap down. Sitting there though, Nichols. Right foot kick. Coming out, Pirello. Didn't take it with him. No, it could be costly. Davey can handle over the top. Oh, he should have the first time, but then he gives it to Smith. Smith sits and waits. Had a one stop.
step kick for goal, but has missed. One behind to Paul Smith. One goal, one this afternoon for him. And that mistake from Pirello didn't prove as costly as first thought. Yes, opportunity went begging there for Paul Smith, who uh, all he had to do was kick the ball straight because there was no one home for either side. The goal square was open, but he couldn't do so. And uh, Shane Wembridge now brings the ball back into play. Alex to go to the outer side of the ground. Been looking for Peter Lang. It's over his head. Ground level now. Sees it tapped out. Oh, Reuter picks it up like a dry day. Good footy, but then lost it due to some good pressure. Charles, hand pass, can't find a target and allows the radar to come out. He kicked the ball to the centre wing, looks for Radford. Radford can't pick it up on the half volley, but he traps it in, in board there. Can't get it towards McGough and O'Toole also there. Pack develops and it's going to be a ball up. Just on the attacking side of wing for the Devils. They lead 5-8-38. Eastern so 3-5-23. Rain has stopped to the player's delight. Sun is shining and uh, it's quite a good game of football here to start through to Richmond Crescent. Pack develops again close to the boundary line. John Matthews was in there. Also uh, Paul Smith, Danny Ruck. And the umpire will pull it up again. Bowden and Reuter both go at it, get a tap to it. Good roving by the Baker boy. Paul Baker hand ball back to Mostert. He can't trap it. O'Toole's there also. Pack develops on the outer side again on the wing. And a free kick found by the umpire for a high tackle going to go to Eastern Suburbs and coming up with a great McGough. McGough now, the dashing rover for the Suburbs. Centre wing out of side of the ground. Looks there's a row bottom. The ball sits though for Bingham who comes out oh. well. Picks it up cleanly and then drives the ball a half forward to where Paul Smith comes across. Knocks the ball away from uh, the man in front on that occasion and I think you'll find it could have been young Collins again who's been busy. Good work, Gordon Collins. Sees it out of bounds now, half forward. Devils into attack. Reuter got the tap down again. Matthew McNamara wrapped up there. Running through Baker, runs back. Now gets free. Gets around on his right boot. Pushes towards a vacant centre half forward position. Boyle and Pirello coming out. Pirello did very well. He attacked the ball. Boyle waited. Goes out towards the wing. Lavery goes in. Gets his feet. Then he's tripped over. Pirello's done very well. He keeps in front of Boyle. He keeps kicking off the ground. He's pushed it up towards half forward now. Shelley comes at him. And should get a free kick for a push. Yes, he does. He worked hard there, Darren Shelley. Got down low and took a free kick. Yes, uh, good persistency there. And uh, congratulations to the uh, respective clubs. A good crowd here too, enjoying the uh, GDFL entertainment of uh, GDFL match of the day this afternoon here at Richmond Crescent. Uh, good crowd witnessing these two top sides of GDFL footy for 96. Ball now at centre wing position. Pack of players have formed. And I think you'll find that, yes, there's a bumblebee in our box. We'll get rid of that very shortly. Thank you very much, Jason. Something you don't see in July? No. <laughs> Too often? OK. Well, the ball is still here, at, right in front of the commentary position on members' side centre wing. Peter Lang's on hands and knees, just sort of having a chat to the umpire as he gives the ball back. Umpire said, I'll throw it up as uh, Reuter thumps it down. Ooh, high tack on the golf on Baker. And... Uh, Goes towards, the boundary line at half Goes towards the boundary line at half forward and it's out of bounds. So Cry still on attack and McGough and Paul Baker just exchanging phone numbers on the wing position. But it's going to be a boundary thrown at half forward for Carrillo. Reuter and Aiken do the ruck work. Reuter taps it with the back of his hand towards Moss who just throws it towards O'Toole. He's wrapped up, should be a bounce and it is Armstrong. Umpire Armstrong to come in and bounce the ball. Throws it up at half board. Poor bounce. Poor throw up too. Reuter gives it to Lang. Kick smothered. Big thump again by Reuter. Kick off the ground. Ruck towards Dylan Smith for Eastern Suburbs. Up towards McGough and Cockrell. Cocky does very well then. Should have got a free kick or then should get one now for a free kick. McGough went in a bit late the second time as well as the first time and free kick to Ian Cockrell. Yeah, Tempest just being a little bit frayed at the present time. But uh, gee, what a great commitment shown there by young Cockrell. But Baker gets the free kick. It, uh, it's just a, a square, I'd suggest, against Craig McGough. Baker now on the wing, going for the torpedo. And it's come off pretty well, too. Goes long towards centre forward. Aitken in front. Radford it was. Hand pass. This is dangerous, though, for the Devils. Or well, I should say the Suburbs, as it went straight to Mickey O'Toole, who's hand pass to the run there of uh, Danny Ruck. I think you'll find that uh, Ruck's kick is not a good one, and he's kicked it out of bounds in the full of the right forward pocket for the Devils. Wambridge to take the free kick for Eastern Suburbs. Going to kick across the ground to Luke Thompson and does so. Takes the mark, runs away, kicks it to the outer side towards Lang and Ruck. 
Lang leads in the race for the ball. Oh, he tried to kick it off the ground, then couldn't. He's surrounded by Devils now, but they can't pick it up. Charles can't pick it up. Kicks it well towards Baker. He breaks the tackle, gives it back to Charles. Right foot kick back to centre half board. Reuter runs out. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. Look at that. Does it like a rover. They did very well there, Reuter. And siren time, half time here at Eastern Suburbs Hunt Ground, Richmond Crescent. And the GDFL Bingo Centre half time scoreboard shows Eastern Suburbs on 3 6 24. And Cryo on 5 8 38 in that second quarter. Cryo kicked three goals, three, while Eastern Suburbs kicked one goal, two. So it's a 14 point lead at half time to Cryo. The goal kick is for the Devils. Marco Tull has three of those five goals, but he's off injured, which looks to be a, well, we won't say a broken arm, but an injured arm anyway. And singles to Paul Smith and Dave Nichols, while for Eastern Suburbs, Peter Lang has two and Peter.